Chronic cough is considered if it persists for more than eight weeks. The most common cause of chronic cough is postnasal drip syndrome, accounting for nearly 40% of cases. This condition occurs when the body produces more mucus than usual, which can drip down the back of the throat, irritating it and triggering the cough reflex. Postnasal drip is often due to allergies, sinusitis, and colds. Individuals with this condition might describe it as feeling something dripping down the back of their throat. The cough is typically wet, accompanied by phlegm, and frequent as the mucus continuously irritates the throat. However, it is usually a mild cough, not intense or severe. Symptoms worsen at night and when lying down. Patients commonly report pressure sensitivity in the face and pain, nasal congestion, which strongly suggests sinusitis, and sometimes a bad taste in the mouth. Treatment depends on the cause. For allergies, antihistamines are the treatment, while antibiotics may be prescribed for sinusitis. The second most common cause of chronic cough is asthma, responsible for almost 25% of chronic cough cases. During asthma attacks, the airways narrow and swell, producing extra mucus, leading to breathing difficulties, wheezing, and shortness of breath. Asthma-related coughing is more commonly dry, but it can sometimes be wet. Wheezing, a high-pitched whistling noise during exhalation, is a significant symptom. Asthma symptoms worsen in the early morning or at night, or after exercise, or exposure to triggers such as dust, dander, cold air, mites, smoke, and other allergens. Asthma severity can vary significantly. Treatment includes inhaled corticosteroids and bronchodilators, with allergy treatments for those with allergic asthma. The third most common cause of chronic cough is GUD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. GUD is a chronic condition where stomach acid flows back into the esophagus, the tube connecting your mouth to your stomach. This acid irritates the throat, causing a cough that is usually dry and hacking, but in rare cases, it can be productive producing a small amount of mucus. The cough worsens at nighttime and after meals, especially when lying down. It is often associated with heartburn, a sour taste in the mouth, regurgitation, or a sore throat. A common symptom is the feeling of a lump in the throat. Treatment for good includes eating smaller, more frequent meals, avoiding trigger foods, elevating the head of the bed, not lying down for two to three hours after eating, and weight loss. Antacids, H2 blockers, and proton pump inhibitors are the mainstays of treatment, with proton pump inhibitors being the strongest and antacids the weakest. The fourth most common cause of chronic cough is COPT, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. A key characteristic of COPT is a daily, persistent cough that is productive, meaning it brings up mucus. The phlegm may be clear, white, yellow, or greenish. The cough tends to be more severe in the morning and may worsen at night. It is usually a persistent, nagging cough. People with copped often report coughing up mucus, especially in the morning, or experiencing shortness of breath with even mild activity. Smoking and prolonged exposure to dust and chemicals are significant risk factors for copped. In younger individuals, a primary cause of COPT is alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, a rare genetic condition typically diagnosed in childhood due to frequent infections. While COPT is incurable, as lung alveoli damage is irreversible, treatment focuses on slowing disease progression and improving symptoms through smoking cessation, bronchodilators, and inhaled corticosteroids. The fifth most common cause of chronic cough is infections. Even after the resolution of a common cold, flu, or other infections, cough can persist for an extended period. Pertussis, or whooping cough, is another infection known for causing prolonged coughing episodes. The sixth most common cause of chronic cough is medications. ACE inhibitors, a class of blood pressure medication, are known to cause cough as a side effect. Examples include captopril, lisinopril, and enalapril. Beta blockers, such as propranolol, metoprolol, and atenolol, can also induce coughing, 
as can non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin and ibuprofen. Bronchiectasis represents the seventh most common cause of chronic cough. In this condition, the bronchial tubes of the lungs are permanently damaged, widened, and thickened, leading to infections and blockages that cause coughing. While relatively rare, bronchiectasis is a significant contributor to chronic cough. Other diseases, such as lung cancer and heart failure, can also cause chronic cough, though these cases are relatively rare. Natural remedies like honey, with its antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties, can soothe throat irritation and reduce cough frequency, especially when taken before bedtime to improve sleep quality. However, children under one year of age should not consume honey. Ginger, known as a natural cough suppressant, can provide relief when consumed as tea or chewed directly. Peppermint tea is another option that can offer some relief from coughing, 